Well, Crags, we'll start with the positives. The unbeaten run goes on, but how do you feel that performance was tonight? I think it was mixed. You know, it was probably up until about, I'd said it was probably about the 44th minute of the game where we actually felt as if we had made six or seven passes. Um, our striker got the hold of the ball and got us up the pitch a little bit. You know, I felt as if the front two tonight, you know, whether they couldn't hold it up or whether they, you know, they were under pressure from their defenders, but we didn't win enough flick-ons, we didn't hold the ball up well enough. It happens sometimes, you know, you, every game you play, you're not going to dominate, you're not going to be the best team and you're not going to have the best players. So but we have to find a way of not to lose games first and foremost. And, you know, it is a development league and it is about developing, but learning not to lose games is, is part of your development. I think that's the way it was tonight. You know, they were they were a threat. I mean, I'm sure they must have put, you know, if you include corners, they must have had at least 30, 35 crosses in their box, which is not good from our point of view because we're not stopping it. But, you know, we defended them well. You know, we had to go and defend crosses. David Witherspoon's ability to put the ball into the box is, is terrific. His corner kicks were terrific. So, from that point of view, defensively tonight, we stood up to it. Um, it's a big pitch. You know, it was quite slick. So, uh, I'm, I'm satisfied with the draw, but I think we're better than that. You know, I think the way we pass the ball, we have to be braver in possession. We have to be better in the ball. So, um, just a mixture of things didn't, didn't go our way, but... You know, the fact we came to St Johnson, you know, I think Big Mick said it in there, Steve McManus is with me tonight, and he said that at any level when you come to play St Johnson, you know, you know you're going to be in a competitive game and you have to fight and scrap for everything because they're a good side, but they work you physically. So we were worked physically tonight, so to go back down in the road with the point uh, is pleasing. It was a bit of a different shape in a sense tonight that you had like, the two target men in Jacob Blythe and Dylan Mack, and how do you feel they worked together and, and how that helped the team in a sense as well? Well, that was the key. I, I'm, I'm not too sure they worked together as well as I would like them to have done. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be too critical of them because Jacob's coming back for fitness and it's a little bit of a different role for Dylan. The only way, you know, if you're going to play with a front two or one up and one off, they have to make it work. Um, it was difficult, you know, I think their two centre-halves, Kerr and, and Gordon, were really competitive and they really pushed them about, you know. Um, they picked up good ball in midfield, so it was difficult, you know, the ball up to them probably wasn't great at times. You know, sometimes when you're under a little bit of pressure, it's clearances up the pitch and maybe not as accurate as what you'd like. But when the ball does come, you know, they have to fight and scrap a little bit more. You have to understand that you're not just going to... Defenders aren't just going to let you jump and head the ball and take it in. So you've got to fight a little bit more for that. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a shape kind of threw us a little bit. You know, I felt, you know, when we went back to our 4-3-3, it suited us a little bit more. You know, you could see the players were a little bit more comfortable in it. We got a foothold back in the game and put a couple of chances either way. So, um, yeah, it, listen, partnerships, it's difficult when you put two players together who've never played together before and they both want to play as the target man. Nobody really wants to play as the 10. So uh, it, it's, it's difficult from that perspective. So I'll back them on that. But I just think all round we have to be better. I think in the, in the final third tonight, just we weren't as good as what it was like us to be. Uh, midfield, we looked a little bit off it. There was too many gaps to play through. Um, but as I say, defensive, I thought David Ferguson tonight, uh, you know, along with Peter and goals, you know, I thought we were very good. What does it say about the development league? Uh, St Johnson haven't had the best of starts, whereas you've had a very good start at Motherwell here. It's that competitive nature that you're going to get in every game at under 20s level. Yeah, l- listen, you know, Alec had said that you know they had five overagers playing tonight. You know, so sometimes that makes a little bit of difference for them. You know, um, it, it, it makes you a bit more efficient. I think Coulson and, and, and Wotherspoon in the final third, Graham Cummings. You know, that's three guys who have played lots of senior games between them. So, you know, they're going to impact the game, and they did. You know their positioning was good, their ability on the ball, their work rate, their energy. You know it's all good. So, but the only way our kids are going to develop is playing against these kind of players and understand them what it's like and how you have to adapt your game and how you play against them. So, listen, the, you know the competitive nature of a development league is always good. You know I, I've watched some games in England at under 21, under 23 level, and sometimes it's non-contact. Nobody makes a tackle, whereas up here it's physically demanding. Because when you step into our Scottish Premiership, it's physically demanding. You have to be up for the fight and you have to learn how to cope. And physically before you even think about playing football so that's the side I like you know it was good they were a big strong physical side which we probably haven't come up against this season you know we've dictated the ball and had a lot of the ball in some games so tonight was a little bit different for us um, yes we'd like to have won you know it's a poor goal we'll give away from our perspective it happens we deal with it you know um, so from that perspective we're developing well we're doing okay um, but tonight just gives me a little reminder there's still a lot of work to do you know we, you get a couple of good results and you think that's us we've, not we've cracked it but you think we're on the right road and then you get a couple of little setbacks so Back to the training ground. Is that? Can you look at that in a positive sense that the boys aren't going to get too relaxed now? They'll know that there's still that work there to be done. Yeah, it is. You know, I, I, listen, I don't let them away with anything. You know, it's a little bit harsh sometimes for me, but I don't like letting them away with anything because I think we have to demand high standards. And we have to demand that they push themselves as much as they possibly can. A lot of the time now we're just nitpicking at their game, you know, and trying to look at different little aspects where they can be better, where they have to improve, where their decision making has to be better. I think that was the key tonight. Our decision making tonight wasn't as good as what I'd like it to have been. Whether that was in possession, whether that was a pass choice, whether it was making a clearance rather than trying to bring the ball down. So sometimes when you're wrestling for position and you're under a little bit of pressure and you haven't got a foothold in the game, you start doing different things. You start becoming a different player. And, um, you know, they have to learn to just stick to what they're doing or what they have been doing, what they're good at, you know, where they're good. So 
Um, again, you know, they'll probably have felt tonight some of them might have been a little bit off it. You know, I'd be interested to speak to them in the bus on the way back, how they felt about who they played against and, you know, what they thought about the game. Because once they give you the thoughts on the game, then you can kind of analyse a little bit more. Um, but I'll certainly watch the game back and we'll have another view on it. Thanks very much, Craig. Cheers. Cheers.